I can't say that I'm nervous. Do I say I'm a little anxious? Yes. You know, the country's in a very awkward position right now. And I, like many, feel like this is gonna be the vote of a lifetime. We can either redirect the ship or make it sink, in my opinion. My fear is if Trump continues to stay in office, uh, in my opinion, I think it's going to turn the country on its ear. I don't really want the current president to win, and I'm worried about a lot of possibilities of corruption as far as like what's going to happen if it's going to make a difference. But I'm going to vote. Try. They say every election is the most important in our lifetime. I think this one actually actually is. I uh, have never voted Democrat before, and this time around I'm voting for Biden-Harris because to me it's not even close. Very clear choice. When I signed up as Republican in high school, I did it because they were the party of personal responsibility, fiscal conservatism, strong national defense, and if you go down the line every single one of those things, I think they've pretty much abandoned every single one of those things. The, the, the issues that were important to me as a Republican, they've basically <laughs> gone down the toilet. I'm convinced that uh, Donald Trump is only interested in doing best what what's best for Donald Trump and maybe his family. And I've been super disappointed that the Republicans in Congress have pretty much caved in to everything he wants to do. Well, I'm worried about him and the Department of Justice and all of the levers of the federal government uh, trying to manipulate the, the election to, in the favor of Trump. I'm hoping that it's an overwhelming win for Biden that's so clear cut that even Donald Trump has to say, that's it, I'm done. It's gonna take a lot, it's gonna take an overwhelming vote though. I'm voting in Oregon City and I feel great about it. I'm hopeful that the person I voted for is gonna win. I supported President Trump, I'm a Republican, I I think he's doing a great job and I think our economy is going to come back and I'm hopeful that all the other Americans are on my side. The pandemic didn't affect my vote, I don't think. I mean, we're, people didn't like the way he ran things. I'm okay with how he ran things. I just, it's here and it happens that way. I'm a religious person, I'm a Christian, and I think God's got a plan for everything. And the pandemic is has been very bad. I think masks are a great thing, but I don't think that really made me think about who I was choosing. Don't forget to sign your envelope. Everybody needs to vote. I'm feeling a little bit of both, nervous and excited. Um, you just never know what's gonna happen. So I'm a, little, I'm a little on the edge this year. I would like to see the measure for the a preschool, free preschool for all. Um, I am a single mother of two that had to pay for daycare that was really expensive. So I know with that, that will help a lot of mothers be able to be independent and don't have to receive government assistance and they can work. I'm just happy that I made it on time. I am just trying to be really zen about it. Obviously, I want it to go one way, so if it doesn't go that way, I feel like it's gonna be a problem, and either way, I feel like there may be more violence than is already going on around the nation, so I'm a little nervous, I guess, yeah. I'm not voting for anyone, I'm voting against Trump. I just am still kind of in shock and awe that it even happened, that someone with his mannerisms and history and the things that he says and does made it into the White House and we have that many people okay with that in our nation. So I've always been interested and voted since I could vote, but this one just feels more like I have to watch it. I'd say I'm more anxious. I think there's a lot more kind of on the line. This is a little bit more of an important election this year than in years past. Personally, I don't really like either of the two main candidates. Um, I'd feel like we're kind of picking the lesser of two evils, but um, so I, I feel like I'm anxious either way. I'm excited. I think that I'm hopeful that, that this will be a turning point for us as far as 
dealing with COVID, as far as dealing with the economy and international relations. This is a turning point for us, the United States. Coming on the heels of the demonstrations, this is a perfect time to sort of surge forward with social changes that are needed to make us a better country. Last election, I just had early, early on the sinking feeling, and I don't, th I, I don't think that Trump will be elected this year. I think that Biden will be. First and foremost, I'm just excited that this whole election season is kind of ending because it's been pretty, pretty crazy, and there's been a lot of animosity towards both sides. And I'm just kind of excited for this all to be put to bed, and we can all work together to make the world a better place. I. Don't know if people will react uh, civilly if they don't know if their side's winning, and um, on both sides, I'm not. I'm not saying one side versus the other, but um, hope, I'm hoping it can be a clear-cut winner. But um, if it's not, my advice to everyone is stay calm and just let it let it work itself out because violence isn't ever the answer. Um, I'm feeling a little nervous. Um, I think I just have this like idea that regardless of what we all put in there, um, he who must not be named is still gonna just get in the seat again and then it's just gonna be like a crazy uprising, which maybe it needs to happen that way, but um, I don't feel assured that it's gonna go like smoothly. Just with all the things that have gone down that seem really shady in Congress and you know, all the like the the judge and all of that, like I don't feel like I feel like we're just gonna be outnumbered by like the sketchiness of what they can get away with and it doesn't seem like there's any repercussions. So it's almost like we're all just like doing our best and then there's still this like giant crevasse of just like you just gotta like see what is gonna happen, but Hopefully better. I feel excited because I just voted, so it's it's a good feeling to take that opportunity. Um, so the excite that's the excitement part. The nervousness will come with the results. I would say healthcare and women's rights is probably the most important to me. And yeah, I think that's what really sticks out to me. That's what I'm personally worried about. I knew I didn't want Trump for president four years ago. I, all of the reasons I was concerned about him being president have been very thoroughly exercised. I mean, he's done everything that I was worried he would do, and then some. I'm just really concerned with the general state, with um, the, racial, the racial inflammation that's happening. I absolutely don't think that this is a president that's been doing anything to kind of ease that or help that it's been more than anything he's been he's been inflaming it he's been making it more unsafe for people of color um, and then the more recent is it's sorry I'm just I'm fried right now